How you doing, man? Merry Christmas. Some basic teachings of the LDS Church compares them to the Bible on the inside. Oh, I'm good. Thanks. Are you LDS? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're for you. Thanks. Things like, do you believe you're going to come to God one day? Yeah, I was a missionary. I yeah. So, what, what, as a missionary, what did you do with like texts from the scriptures that teach that there was no God's form before God, none after Him? Well, I actually worked with refugees. Okay. So we really didn't get in, into a lot of doctrine. It was more about converting. I mean, I mean you personally. Conver converting them to believe in Jesus Christ. Which Jesus? So, our brother. Satan's brother? <laughs> if you're just looking for arguments, you no, I'm, I, for me. I'm sort of like, example, like yeah. Paul, like Paul went to the synagogues to prove that Jesus was the Messiah, he went to the Areopagus. And I, I actually, I come to pick my father up, he works at the temple, and cool. I, I usually sit in the car, I was just curious what you're doing, because I, I've been out here many, many years and enjoying the lights, and you know, there's people that are anti, and it, it just kind of detracts from the experience. So I was just when you say anti-Mormon, so like a Christian like myself that loves you guys and has a burden to to share Christ with you and the true gospel. Do you have a lot of Mormon friends? Yes. Okay. I've seen lots of Mormons actually come to Christ out of Mormonism um, as a result of this kind of ministry, personal relationships, things like yeah. that. Um, but say, for example, like for me as a Christian, how how would you approach me as a Christian? who has a burden for you. And you, you. You went on your missions, obviously you're zealous, you you're care about people. A Christian that has a burden for me? Yes, for Mormons. Okay, well be, it wouldn't, wouldn't be for me, your burden. I it, mean, no, it, it definitely is. I care for you as a person, as an image bearer of God. This, yeah. this church was, is led, I believe, and you can, you, can, you can steer me in the right direction if you believe I'm wrong. I believe this church teaches you a false God and false gospel. Joseph was a false prophet. That would be what my contention is. But here's what I was was getting at. Yeah. When you went, when you were a missionary, you went and gave the account of the first vision. Correct. So you you approach people on your first lesson with Joseph's first vision account, where he says that God told him, join none of the churches because they're all wrong. Their creeds are an abomination. The professors are corrupt. Well, I'm actually I actually have have studied a lot of religions. I I I, I, I study uh, Hebrew right now and Arabic. Awesome. So I I mean I'm. And I, I spent 20 years studying Buddhism, so I mean I, I'm pretty, pretty, um, uh, you know, open-minded into what's out there, and well, what you know, would you, being, what being would you... tolerant to other people's beliefs. And that's why it, it just amazes me that us being Christian brothers, how it'd be like me being a Muslim and going to a, a mosque and and kind of handing out things which are. Well, that would kind of beg the question, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because, well, how would you say that I'm a Christian if Joseph says that God told him that I'm corrupt and my creeds are an abomination? I think you're, I think you're getting hung up on, on, on wordage rather than the spirit. What does spirit, it mean that my creeds are an abomination? Rather than the spirit. Um, what would that mean to you? Uh, explain that to me. That God tells Joseph the creeds are an abomination, the professors, that's me, are corrupt. Well, the, I think the, the emphasis behind it was there was an apostasy. Right, and, so, and so how a, can I be your brother if I'm part of an apostate church? Well, Lucifer's my brother. He just fell away. Well, you were you are implying brother in Christ. Absolutely. So we share the we're, same we're, God? We, we all have the same father. Thus, thus makes us brothers. Well, I don't, whether believe whether that God, a, I don't believe that God was once a man who became a God one day. Whether you're a Jehovah's Witness, whether you're a Mormon, whether you're a Catholic, we're still brothers. So Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus is Michael the Archangel. Do you believe I that? Don't, I don't get hung up on, on the labels. I, you know, I, I look at you. If I was out on the street and I saw a homeless man, I wouldn't go up and say, you know, are you a Jehovah's Witness or a Catholic? Because if you are, I can't help you because I'm Mormon. Well, I don't believe in that yes. in a sense of us helping one another and loving one another. That's yeah. a different story. But I think yeah. the greatest act of love that I can show you is to show concern for you and to come here and to tell you that this church is teaching you a different God and a different gospel. Me as well. That's why I got out of the car. I know, and I, I genuinely you. appreciate that. Ge genuinely I usually do. will be studying my language tapes right now, but I thought it, I thought it well, was cool. important. Well, cool. And I know what it's like to study Hebrew, too. So, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a beast, man. Um, well, I mean, the, the, the big What's point... Your name? What's Jeff. Your name? Jeff. Jeff. My name's Sean. Hey, pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet well, you. Well, I, I would I would ask, say for example, if we talk about Christ, Jesus says, and I know you'll agree with this, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So he says he's the only way to the Father. Um, and yet Paul warns in 2 Corinthians 11 that there are other Jesuses, other spirits, and other gospels that can't save. So for example, the Muslim you brought up, he doesn't yeah. believe that, he says Jesus that they revere him, but he doesn't believe right. that Jesus is the Son Teacher of God. Yeah, and he doesn't believe he died or rose again, but that's not Jesus, is it? It's it's not the, the Jesus that I... That it's not I the died. true Jesus. Yeah. 
If he's not the Son of God, he didn't die for sins and didn't rise from the dead, then that's not the Jesus that you would accept. Well, I think, I, I think it's, it's no different than you and me seeing someone and we may look at them differently just because of our experiences. You so may, if I said to you, he's not... You may not. say, he's a good man, and I may say, no, he's a bad man. I saw him do this What if that. I said Jesus is not the Son of God and he didn't die for sins? You wouldn't refute that? If you said that, I, I, I wouldn't agree with you. So it's um, not Jesus, is it? Oh, that's my dad right there. Um, the Jesus that I know is is the one who was born at Christmas and that we celebrate his birth. We celebrate he's Satan's his brother. He's one God among many gods. He's the physical offspring of Elohim and, a, and one of our goddess mothers. The Jesus of the Bible is the creator of all things. John chapter 1 says, without him, nothing came into being that's come into being, that he created all things, including Satan. You're very he's well not versed. his brother. <laughs> well, I would, well I, I would encourage you to just, if you want, I, take, take I would, this. I would encourage you to, to also to, to feel the spirit of Christmas and to understand what people are doing here when they come with their families to see the lights and to think about Christ. Which not, Christ? Not to, Satan's brother? Once again, I'm not going to get into semantics, you know, into... Well, it's an issue, like, if, for example, you named Sean. Yes. If a police officer came tonight and I said, I met a guy named Sean, he's a seven-foot-tall black dude, he's about 300 pounds, his name is Sean, he's wearing yeah. a, a blue vest and some uh, nice pants and black shoes, I gotta go would I be that. identifying you? As well as you know. So you're a black man, seven feet tall, 300 pounds? If that's what you, if that's how you saw me. So, then, so truth, then it, truth is not objective <laughs> to you, it's relative. Well, it's, it, it's so, based upon our, our, our knowledge, and it's based upon our awareness, and it's based upon our experience. What knowledge? Our experiences, what are di which are different. So if but, I experience uh, that sex before marriage is, is a good, holy thing, is that a good thing? That's your experience. Okay, so you know, is it true, I, though? I can't contest your, your life, your, your, is your, it your true? journey. Can I steal? That's up to you. That's between you and God. But does what does God say about it? Well, that's about. I would love to talk to you, Jeff. Um, my my dad. I just he called yeah. to pick him up. Well, I would encourage you with love, Sean, to think about the fact that this church teaches a different God and different gospel. And if you have the wrong God and wrong gospel, you have a God that cannot save and a gospel that damns you. I appreciate. There's a better way to talk to Mormons than this type of experience. And well, I'll rest, just, thankfully. Uh, Sean, I'll rest, thankfully, on the many Mormons You're that have come man, to Christ Jeff. because of this. God hey, bless you. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Sean. Have a good night, man.